as much as you can, can you give us a play-by-play -play about how this came about? So, whenever you have a case of this magnitude, it's something you live with every day, and you can't go anywhere without being asked about it. And it's the main thing that was on my desk, and the most important thing I'll ever do in my career, Greg. And I think same with the public defender. So, you're just always talking about a case and what, what you know, give and take, back and forth, and. You know, we, we got it all together last night, came together, and uh, we were able to present a, a plea to the judge today. So it seemed appropriate since there was a hearing in the case already. Yes. So we just moved it back because of the daily call, and we figured this would take up a considerable amount of time. So that's why it got backed up from 11 to 1 at Judge Custer's um, initiative. Now, I know people are going to be wondering about the fact that what he said happened might not necessarily jibe with well, what people are speculating. Can you comment on that? Well, whenever you plead guilty, you have to present what we call a factual basis and um, to substantiate what the charge was. And this was a, an agreement amongst the parties that we would stipulate to these facts, and um, and that's what we presented. Now it's clear that these were some of the facts were what the defendant stated, not necessarily what Agent Brown and Agent Klein were going to say. It's what it's what the defendant stated, and it was enough to um, uh, sufficient enough to to uh, have a guilty plea to murder. So that's what we agreed on, and um, that's what we presented. So I don't really want to speculate about what the other facts will be. I think that would be disrespectful to the law enforcement that put all their time and energy into it, and I think also to Willow. So I don't really want to get into what. I think the state's version of facts would have been or their strategy at trial, um, but um, other than to say that what we presented to the court was what both parties were willing to agree to stipulate to. And the bottom line is you got the Does conviction it, and you got the maximum sentence. Uh, yeah, so that was what we were wanting was the ju justice for Willow and we got it. We got natural life without the possibility of parole, so um, uh, we weren't going to you know, haggle over this or that. I mean, the parties were willing to stipulate to this factual basis. And, that was the result today. There was also a question about what the cost might have been, as, or maybe what the savings might have been since you didn't have to go to trial. Literally six figures. I mean, it's hard to quantify. The odds are this case was going to have to be transferred out of the county. After all, the entire county um, put so much of you know blood, sweat, tears, energy, money into this thing. I mean, the whole county was impacted. And, and affected by this thing. So the odds of us getting a jury in Effingham County were so remote that, you know, it, a change of venue had been filed. I probably would have just gone along with it because it would have been the right thing to do in the interest of justice. But luckily we avoided that. As Judge Custer said in her um, final presentation, she was, you know, it saved thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars probably not having to try this in another county because you're talking about taking up my entire uh, office time and schedule. All of Zone 7 investigations would be over there for two weeks at least. The, the security issues, the bringing in the experts uh, to come out of state, like our, um, the, our um, the one the guy who did the autopsy, for instance, was coming from Evansville. So you're talking about a lot of, lot of money So in time. So um, this guilty plea, getting the maximum sentence and avoiding trial is the best we could do, and we got it done. So. I guess in speaking of that, I think you made a point of thanking everybody who had a part to play in this, whether it was searchers, whether it was a law enforcement community or emergency service personnel or whoever. It, it, was, it was a total group effort. I mean, first and foremost, we're thankful to all the volunteers that came out. We would not have had this quick of a resolution. This thing happened in September and we were able to get the maximum guilty plea by March, which is a rarity in the criminal justice system. And we were only able to get that because we had so many volunteers show up. I mean, for instance, we only we found Willow's remains because searchers got turned away and they went off the grid and, you know, miraculously found uh, Willow's remains. And that sped up the case. I mean, without getting that, um, uh, without finding the remains, it might have been tougher for the police to get that quick of a, a confession from um, Justin. So. Um, so the volunteers were instrumental, uh, the law enforcement, Zone 7 in particular, but also the county sheriff's department and the city and Ron Kilman from our office were all unbelievable. Um, I, I don't know if you were around earlier when I said, you know, you know, it's nice to know the one time we have to get everything right, we got everything right. I mean, law enforcement, the coroner, 
the public. We, we got it right. And so if there's a, one, another, one of the silver linings is we got it right when we had to do our job. And so on that level, it's kind of a silver lining. But um, I do want to thank all the people. I know um, everyone in this county has been impacted. And um, they all have some kind of involvement. I mean, most crimes are cases where there's maybe one or two victims and maybe a witness and a couple cops and a prosecutor and defense attorney and a defendant. You know, 10 people is all that really is into a case. But here, literally, all 34,000 people in the community were invested in this case. So it had a little bit different of a, of a, um, of a feel to it. Um, and so... And it brings some closure to things. And so now the attention can go back that, to Willow yeah, where it belongs. It, it, that, that's that's the other silver lining of getting a guilty plea this quickly is we can go we can focus on the positives of our life and not well on a trial, a two week emotionally wrenching trial. We got this past us and now we can focus on, you know, the legacy and Willow Park and um, other um, other things that I think people want to do to carry on her legacies.